And the foul will be on Trent Tucker, and that is Tucker's third personal bad time to get it. With 33 seconds left in the half, Garland Jefferson back into the Virginia lineup, number 11. Garland Jefferson, number 11, is in for Virginia. And Jeff Lamp goes to the line to shoot one and one. Lamp, during the regular season, was an 84% free throw shooter. At one point, he had 48 in a row, but here in the NIT, he's at only 66% from the line. With only uh, 33 seconds remaining, and on that uh, free throw line situation, looked like a good spot to put Ralph Sampson in. He's not in foul trouble. And as you see, Tucker goes back to the bench. He's replaced by Andy Thompson, a sophomore from Nassau in the Bahamas. And uh, the younger brother of former Minnesota great Michael Thompson. Here's Lamp looking to put Virginia out in front right now. We're tied at 29. And the rebound pulled down by Brewer. Minnesota undoubtedly will play for one now. 28 seconds left in the half. Lamp doesn't miss many free throws. He set an Atlantic Coast Conference record this year with 48 straight. McHale, the Golden Gophers, holding on, looking for the final shot. The clock ditch down on the lower left-hand corner of your TV screen. Mitchell, they got to start moving it in now. McHale looking for Brewer. This is Hall. Got to shoot it up. McHale has it knocked away. It is loose. They're not going to get that final shot. Great defense, particularly by Terry Gates, who tied up Kevin McHale and prevented the Golden Gophers from getting off the final shot from Madison Square Garden, where it all began, where it is today, the 43rd Annual National Invitational Basketball Tournament. That's the end of the first half of play. We're all tied. Virginia 29, University of Minnesota 29. We'll start our halftime coverage live from Madison Square Garden.